this, for the last four years? All this yeah, gossip you know. is so gay. I, I mm. just don't do it. I, I love it. it I love it. You hypocrites call out Pearl for grifting, but run cover for Sharp. Run cover. Who's running cover? Who? who who's Where? Who's, when? How? And what know, difference specifics? I need specifics, we sit ma'am. We a big table like this behind the scenes like, all right, let's talk about red pill politics. Yeah, yeah let's just exactly. like deflect, deflect, we're, we're deflect. this big of fucking losers. <laughs> He's a purple know? liar and a hypocrite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why, don't you, why don't you just copy and paste everything Anthony Johnson has said for the last, oh, I don't know, what, three and a half, four years now? Thanks. This is not new. Well, here's a question. Is Next. he living in his frame? Is, is he living? Is 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 David? Is, I honestly is he, don't care. Friend? Is he that big? A, like, if are he's we, happy with it? Yeah. If he's happy with his who, life. I like Don. this shit? This is Don. Don. I I have, I have a legit, who's Devon? Devon is his, uh, oh, his Devin. wife, girlfriend's significant other. Who's who's? Wait, is she for real? Oh, De- Donovan Sharp. Donovan, Donovan Sharp. Sharp. Oh, Devon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devin. Devin. There you go. I thought you said Devon. I'm like, who the hell is Devon? Okay, so this is all gossip and crap. Like, yeah, yeah. But here, here's my question. Like, I didn't sign up for this. Like. This yeah, exactly. This is, but that's, exactly. that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Here, here's what it is. Let me explain it very clearly for everyone who's got, you know, me and Rolo hate each other, or me and the great one and all this other mm. stuff that me and uh, uh, whatever this guy's name is uh, at each other's throats. <laughs> yes. I'm not. I We're still on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not doing the TMZ stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I, I yeah. this was accident. This is all 100% authentic. I'm not my, the red pill is not in my name. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is just, we kind of fell into it, did it as a hobby, a sincerity or, or passion or whatever. Yeah. But the hell if I'm going to get caught up with, oh, did you hear someone said this? Did someone t-? It, no, I, I really didn't. I, mm-hmm. I really did not. I couldn't care less. Yeah. A lot of people dwell on that. They want to say, oh, you're a hypocrite because you just, you you run cover for this guy or you do this. I'm like, how? I, like, be fucking specific. If you're going to make accusations, yeah. they got to be fucking specific. I, I think I think what the, also the difficulty is, and you talk about this, is when you make a prescription, now all of a sudden anything you do oh, yeah. gets held against yeah, you. Yep. Yep. And so that's one of the things. Like I, That book is as far as I go. Evolutionary psychology. Mm-hmm. Red pill is a derivative of evolutionary psychology. Don't care anymore. You want to go out and you want to fuck porn stars, do it. I don't yeah. care. It's not my business. And so that's the thing was when we start prescribing things, then it gets, now we're held to that standard. Mm-hmm. Does that okay. Sense? Let me, uh, yeah. let me uh, in fact, that was actually a topic I wanted to get into so when we go out and we do our separate channels we all have our own niches more or less Mm -hmm. or people would say we're in the same niche but we all have certainly have our different takes on that niche certainly Aaron has his take right and I've seen Aaron develop I've seen John develop I've seen all of us develop in some way shape or form over the course of you know God knows what 10 20 years now um do you think first of all you were you got into this like do you think people have trouble misunder uh, taking things too literally and then just apply like thinking that you're giving them sort of advice and that's my number one gripe these days is like well rollo gives advice about I'm like no motherfucker i don't give advice if you think i'm giving you advice you came into this with the wrong headspace mm-hmm. in the first place mm. Telling people like this is just data. This is actionable information. This is the red pill. It doesn't care whether you're right or wrong, good, black, white, religious or not, whatever. It is what it is. What you do and with it from that point is up to you. Now the problem is, is when you get into things like, uh, and since you're in the sort of like the Christo manosphere, mm-hmm. you get into people who are like Hafiz, who wants to make a, a, a living out of this, or Ruslan, who wants to be all brand. You get these guys who want to sort of, sort of swirl the, the red pill into whatever their pet uh, ideology happens to be. Yeah. Um, now my my question for you guys is, is as I guess influencers, do you consider yourself an influencer? Do you consider yourself give? Do you give advice? Well, those are two different things. As yeah. an influencer, all of you are influencers. Yeah, I have right. no, no I, I'm what. looking at the chat yeah, right now. There's 560 people here. You're, yeah. uh, no doubt you guys are influencers. Compared to the average person on the planet, mm-hmm. Dunbar's number 150 people they meet, that you guys are in the tens of thousands. So you're all influencers. But the thing that I was going to point out is the, the Jamie Lynn video that you just sent me. Jamie, Shout out to Jamie Lynn. She's an FHN model. She's a marriage therapist, and she comes on the show sometimes. She had a complaint about what we were talking about, and Ruslan did too. Mm-hmm. The thing that they had was that you made a definition about hypergamy, mm-hmm. and then other guys come into comments and start calling girls 304s and all this other shit and then mm. it's like now that's attributed to you right when you mm-hmm. didn't say mm-hmm. that right so that's one of the issues that i think happens is so now you're an influencer now you are held to the level of your followers yeah. just like what they tried to do to you on um dr phil they put you across from that autistic kid mm. and then they were like oh do you understand <laughs> they, they they tried to make it like you were his fucking dad 
Did you see what they were doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, so now you, him being messed up and being made fun of, you are now to blame for that, and he has nothing to do with you. That's essentially what happens. So as an influencer, once you get start giving these prescriptions, now you are nailed to the cross mm-hmm. for every single thing that you say mm-hmm. and the things that your followers say. This right. is one of the reasons why there's federal law that states that you're not held liable for the comments mm-hmm. that people make in your videos or on mm-hmm. your or news articles, and that's the reason why. So Jamie Lynn did made this mistake. She got a bunch of bet negative comments because of the video that you posted. You remember the one that went viral? Yeah. And so she's attributing that to you and your followers. And the same thing has happened with Ruslan. Ruslan made an incorrect statement when we did that debate on Monday mm-hmm. where he was saying that you were stating uh, – Hypergamy was X, and X means women are whores. And you did not say that. No, you did not say that. You love how we get to that to that point. I, uh, I See, that's the problem. They they read into it. They 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 imply that you're saying something that you're not even saying. They get so dramatic. Is the real mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. They get it super dramatic. Yeah. I was gonna say is like I you ever played the telephone game when you're yep. kids and you're like you whisper something to somebody yep. and has exactly. to go around the the table and stuff and then by the time it gets back it's like completely different. Mm-hmm. We're at the end of the chain of the sure. fucking red pill uh, <laughs> telephone game at this point right now. Rollo says this, hypergamy, and then it comes back and says, you said hypergamy means no women can ever love a guy. And it, like, it's completely like back, ass backwards at that point. Well, yeah, your work is completely disruptive to people's convictions that are out there right mm-hmm. now. It really is. So is uh, Dr. David Buss's work. Mm-hmm. It's, it's disruptive to how they perceive the world, and they're very convicted in that. And so it's kind of like a punch to the gut when they hear it. Mm-hmm. And of course, if anybody says anything derogatory, they immediately associate, just mm-hmm. like Mike yep. said. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't take it too seriously because I, I, for right now, but I, I do understand it. Well, hey, the Hudsman, thank you for that fifty dollars super chat. He says, "My dudes, I uh, love seeing you all together. Thank you for that." I don't have my my sound drops. Hey, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you say something, Hudson. if you say something factual, also. Yeah that doesn't fit with their narrative, that's even more offensive. It is. That's even more offensive to someone. Like if I were to say, hey, you know, it's fine if you want to transition to become a woman, but yeah. you still have a Y chromosome. Yeah. That's not offensive. What I said was not offensive. But if I were to say that, I have a buddy of mine, he's a, a professor at an Ivy League school, and I was like, what if you actually went out there and said that? He's like, oh, I would lose my job. Yeah. If I went out there and said that, if you transition, you maintain your Y chromosome, I would lose mm-hmm. my job unequivocally, without a, fa- a doubt, I would be protested and, right. and yelled off of this campus. So that's one of the issues is that is that when you, it's not just when you say something derogatory or mean, it's when you say the truth. And, yes. it com- and, and then the truth that comes from a book where they did studies with thousands of people, yeah. and then the, the studies are very clear about uh, beauty being objective, yeah. right? Different sta- different society, 37 different cultures, yep. finding the same things beautiful. That means beauty is objective. Mm. Canceled. That's the problem is when you tell them the truth and then, then all of a sudden John, that's what, what, what do they say? Well, the the well, truth is uh, a crime. It's a, yeah, it's radical. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. John, what